I was born at a rim on St. Joseph Street. We used to call this season the guava season, which means hard time. Because in those days, a family, if they couldn't help themselves, never mind to help you. I used to get along all right. I was born in a, a musical family. I was a blacksmith. He was a singer. He was a whistler. When he making the, the horseshoes, he used to make a kind of rhythm with the anvil. Awisha was a mango tree, planted on love and tea. Awisha was a mango tree, planted on love and tea. And my quality is mango well. A bearing ones are here, yeah. but my children must never fall. I don't care if the blue birds and them eat all. I look at dropping. Brip, brip. Brook, brigo, brigo, dig them school children run below. For when they reach, they hold their head and ball. For when they think is mangoes, my branches fall. I drop, brip, brook, brook, brigo, brigo, dig them school children run below. For when they reach, they hold their head and ball. For when they think... I left Trinidad in 1948, went to London and made my first record. And then I was a big hit in England. I used to sing at the Churchill, where Princess Margaret used to visit very often. Western them would uh, explain to the English friends what I was really saying. So eventually, the English people caught on my song. Ah, bonus, don't call me so. I don't like it. I want you to know. Ah, bonus, don't call me so. I don't like it. I want you know when you call me all this sweet name stupidness then you leave me and you gone I stop foolish well darling you will give me misery well hear this sweet name that burn is calling me Keech come go to bed I have a small comb to scratch your head Keech don't make me cry you know I love you you playing shy? Well, the people went crazy over that song. They thought it was very sexy and things like that. And then they started coming to the club in the hundreds. Things started working good for me. Until I, um, I was eventually singing in three clubs. So then, then I was in business. That's when I enjoy life in England. I love the cold then. I get accustomed to the cold. Lord Kitchener, now I'm told that you are really the king of Calypso singers. Is that right? Yes, that's well, so true. Are you singing for us? Right now. Yes. London is the place for me. London, this lovely city. You can go to France or America. India, Asia, or Australia, but you must come back to London City. Well, believe me, I am speaking broad-mindedly. I am glad to know my mother country. I've been traveling the country. Um, they call upon me to go to America. It was a big calypso craze. That Calypso button, Calypso shoes, that was 1957. Everybody was trying to get to America because all that happened in America is Calypso. In Puerto Rico, they are worse family. With more confusion, take it from me. There was a mama and a papa with one child alone who wanted to be married and have a wife of his own. So he went to the papa. The papa said, no, that girl is your sister, but your mama don't know. Wow, 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 why is me? A shame and scandal in the family. Wow, 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 why is me? A shame and scandal in the family. Mama, 
The mama shook she head when she found out what her husband has said. So she paused for a moment undecidedly. This time the boy waited patiently. Then the mama she laughed and said, go, man, go. Your daddy, yeah, your daddy, but your daddy don't know. I tell you. Wow, wow, wow. wow, wow. Belafonte was the only man that the people accept as a Calypsonian. Although we know that Belafonte is not the authentic Calypsonian, but to the people outside, he was. And he helped Calypso in a big way. The outer world understands Belafonte much better than they understand us. Because his accent is more foreign than us.